welcome back. Now, as pointed out by Ms. Sandy Carter, IBM's general manager earlier on the show, technology-based startups driven by Internet of Things, data analytics, and cloud are indeed coming up with innovative solutions to address some pressing problems. Next up, find out how this Internet of Things-based startup can help you save big on your electricity bills. To live without electricity is unimaginable. But have you ever looked at a light bulb in office or at home and wondered what it takes to keep it glowing? To give you some perspective, a whopping 325 kgs of coal is burned to generate enough electricity to keep a 100 watts bulb on for an entire year. Coal burned to produce electricity is a major source of pollutants and greenhouse gases. As per International Energy Agency's most recent report, released in 2013, a glaring fact which ironically came to light was that 1.2 billion people or 1 in 7 people in the world have no access to electricity, something you and I take for granted. Replacing the current coal-based electricity generation plants with clean and renewable sources will take decades. Is there an interim solution without bringing the wheels of development to a screeching halt and ensuring access to electricity to a larger section of the population? Renewable energy is an answer to our long-term energy needs. Along with this, it has to be supplemented by energy efficiency. There, there are a number of studies which have carried out and pointed that energy efficiency both at the demand and supply side is very important and then the remaining reduced demand can be effectively met by renewable energy. As per experts, conserving energy is our best bet in the short run. To exploit the opportunities available in the energy conservation space, various solutions are being offered by many. Zenatics, a Gurgaon-based Internet of Things, or an environment in which everyday objects or things are provided with unique identifiers and the ability to transfer data over a network and data analytics-driven energy conservation solution startup, claims to have brought down the electricity bills of its commercial clients by 10 to 25% through its smart meters and data analytics driven solutions. So Zenetics is an energy data analytics company and what that really means is we help large commercial customers of electricity reduce their energy consumption using intelligence from energy data. What we really focus on is the operational efficiency. We say that you know irrespective of your infrastructure whether that's an old infrastructure or state-of-the-art you know platinum certified building uh, if you don't operate it well you will bleed on energy efficiency and that's the problem that Zenetics is solving. Uh, so we essentially, you know, we put in a lot of sensors to acquire energy related data uh, and, you know, we process that data using our intelligent analytics to be able to drive meaningful actions in a facility or a large environment and save energy. Co-founded by 35-year-old Amarjeet Singh, a PhD in electrical engineering from UCLA and his two friends, Rahul Bhalla and Vishal Bansal, an IM Ahmedabad graduate who became friends during their graduation days at IIT Delhi and went on to pursue different careers after passing out in 2002. Decided to quit their cushy jobs in 2013 to lay the foundations of Zenatics. We found that you know, energy was one area which was very underpenetrated from the perspective of uh, efficiency uh, and technology can play a big role in delivering energy efficiency to that sector. So, so it's a massive problem, you know, that's what really excites us. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a huge problem which can be solved, so, uh, you know, solved in a meaningful way. Key to electricity conservation is the knowledge of where and when it is being spent, so excess usage may be cut down. Zenatics installs smart meters in commercial buildings, hospitals, etc. to measure the consumption pattern and its cloud-based software ZenSoft monitors the data thus recorded, slices and dices it to come up with energy consumption pattern. So this meter and then we have a bunch of other meters installed at various locations within the building. Right. So all these meters, they are cabled and connected to what we call this controller. Mm -hmm. So this is the instead of the controller. So right. this, this is the controller that we have kind of developed in-house right. and all the firmware and the hardware which has gone inside has been designed and developed in-house. Right. So this controller, all it does is it basically collects the data all in real time from all the meters that is in the loop right. and pushes the data to a cloud server using internet. Right. So then we run our analytics engine there once we have the data right. and we try to help the, cons the client in producing their energy spend. Corporations in their bid to cut expenses and to shrink their carbon footprints are increasingly opting for energy conservation measures. 
Zenetics' fast-growing client list includes Google, NIIT, Xerox, GlaxoSmithKline, among others. Energy conserved is energy safe. If we can avoid consumption of the, of the unit that we need to consume otherwise, it doesn't need to be produced at the generating station. What this energy management system has done is wired all of those energy meters that we have in the facility today onto multiple controllers and that controller over to a software. So sitting here in a real time basis, I would know how my energy consumption trend is going around the building. Finally, the idea is to make it uh, talk to our machines which are consuming the power. In the nine months that we've been running the system, we've been able to recover our costs on the CapEx model completely. Buoyed by recent rounds of funding from Google's India chief Rajan Anandan, Snapdeal and Bloom Ventures, Zenatix has its eyes set on the residential sector and intends to launch products for the same within a year's time. Electricity conservation could play a crucial role in not just helping India keep its environment relatively clean, but also to achieve its goal of generation of 40% of power through renewable sources by 2030. With camera person Prem Abhishek Singh for NDTV. We will wrap up today's show on that note. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Until next time, goodbye and thanks for watching.